Okay, so let me just fill it up here quickly so you have it. Okay, so that's the first part. Second part, uh, draw the AT graph. So, what we need to realize is that the we need to first figure out how is the acceleration related to the velocity because we're given the velocity time plot. Uh, we know that the acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So, I need to find the slope at each, each and every point in this plot. So, for example, this point, this point, so on. Now, we realize that it's actually a straight line horizontal line. So we know what the slope is at that point, simply zero. So from zero all the way to 40, zero all the way to 40. Since the slope, this thing, this line is horizontal, the slope is zero. So the acceleration is zero there. And then uh, to find the slope here, I need at least two points. Okay, so this is again a review. You've got to know how to find the slope of a line. This is uh, goes back to, I don't know, uh, algebra, maybe geometry. So in order to find the slope, you need the coordinates of two points. In this case, I know the coordinate of this point. The x is the t-axis, 40. The y is 10. For this point, the x is uh, 80, and the y is the y-axis is 0. So, for the slope here, I would write the y-axis to two points. So, 10 minus 0 divided by uh, the 10 corresponds to 40 on the x-axis. So. 40 minus 80. So they have to be the corresponding points. So this was a, so this, this corresponds to the coordinate 0, 80, right? x is 0, y is 80. My bad. It should be 80, 80, 0. 80 is the x axis, uh, 0 is the y axis. So it has to be a pair. You, you cannot just switch uh, variables, you get a wrong sign. So this pair is uh, x is. 40, y is 10. In other words, the coordinates of this point is x is 40, y is 10. Coordinates of this point is um, 80, comma 0. Okay. So this comes out to be minus uh, 1 fourth. So I think it's bit 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth. So minus 0.25. Minus 0.25. Okay, is that clear? Any questions? Okay, so uh, the way we'll do this is, and 
uh, I'm not going to do eye clicker today, but uh, I'll basically do the review. And then I'll assign a question. So let's solve this problem. Like I, I would do it in a normal class, but I will not enforce the eye clicker today because I know we were, there were some technical issues uh, and we may not have got the eye clicker. So we'll start using the eye clickers from next time, but uh, let's just do this as an exercise. A van travels along a straight road with, with a velocity described by the graph. So velocity is a function of time. Construct the ST graph and the AT graphs during the same time period. So we may not be able to do everything <coughs> Because you only have so much time, uh, how about how about you try to draw the AT graph? So draw the AT graph. Okay. Uh, and normal, normally, I will make you poll the answers. I'll have a question which you can actually uh, use your eye clicker to poll. So we will not do that today, but we'll do that from Monday. So. Uh, this is the hint. You can use the the relation between acceleration and velocity. So with the eye clicker, it doesn't have to be uh, individual. You can work in a work in a group, work with a friend, no problem. In fact, if you're stuck, uh, if you get an answer, you should definitely check with your uh, neighbor. Okay, so I'll just solve it, but. Uh, to next on class onwards, we'll do the eye clicker. So acceleration is dv dt. In this case, we need to find the slope of there's only one single curve, right? So the acceleration is d dt of minus 4t plus 80, which is minus 4. Okay, so the acceleration is a constant. Any questions? No questions? Okay. So the thing which, I, which I'll do in this class, and really to break down just me talking, is I'll show you videos of, they're usually videos of uh, things which I found interesting. They're Sometimes they're very related to dynamics, sometimes they're off. But they're... So a jet car is traveling at a velocity of 10 meters per second when it is subjected to the acceleration profile shown. Okay. Find the car's maximum velocity and find the time t prime. So this is the uh, t prime when the car comes to a complete stop. We also given that when time is zero, the displacement is zero.
Okay, so uh, let's think about this for a bit. So given the acceleration profile, what does the acceleration mean if you're in a jet car? Well, it means that when you accelerate, you're pressing on the gas pedal and you're you are putting in more gas. When you are uh, going negative acceleration, this minus four, you're actually braking. Okay. So the first question asks you to find the maximum speed. Now, when can you achieve the maximum speed? Well, you're continuously accelerating. You see the six, and then you decelerate. So clearly, the maximum acceleration should take place between the time when your acceleration is when you're just going from switching from uh, acceleration to deceleration. So the maximum velocity will be reached at time equals 15 seconds. So max velocity is reached when time t equals 15 seconds. Okay, so we have to only find the velocity at uh, t equals 15 seconds. So how is A related to V? Well, A is dV dt. So we can write dV equals A dt. And in order to find the speed at 15 seconds, what I'll do is I'm going to integrate this from uh, t equals 0 all the way to 15. And I need to find the velocity at 0 and velocity at, I'll write this as 15, so it's, it's easy to understand. Okay, so this is V15 minus V0 equals, uh, this is area under the plot, under the AT plot from time t equals 0 to t equals 15, which is this area. Right? So that area is simply the area for a tangle, which is 15 is the base and 6 is the height. Do we know anything about the velocity, initial velocity? It's given as 10 meters per second. So V15 minus 10 equals, uh, I think it's 80. So V at 15 equals 90 meters per second. Hundred? Oh, it's ninety. Yeah. Okay. Now the next question asks you to find uh, what is the uh, what's the time t prime when the car comes to complete stop? So uh, first the car is accelerating and reaches its maximum speed at 15 seconds. And then the jet car is braked. So minus 4 is the deceleration. So clearly if you decelerate, it's going to the speed is going to slowly decrease, eventually come to a complete stop. So you find the time t prime. Uh, so we can again use the same um, relation, which is uh, we know the acceleration time profile is dv dt. So dv equals a dt. And in this case, I'm going to look at the next uh, rectangle, right? From 15 all the way to t prime. So the time is 15 all the way to t prime. And in this case, t prime is unknown. The velocity goes from 15 to uh, velocity at t prime. So I can write this as v at t prime, sorry, v at minus v at 15 equals, this is the area under the AT plot from 15 all the way to t prime seconds, which is this area. Okay, so let, let's write this down. So the area is the area for rectangle. The area of the rectangle is going to be uh, t prime minus 15. So because that's the base of the rectangle, the height of the rectangle is, what's the height of the rectangle? It's negative 4. Okay. So this is 0 because we're told the car comes to a stop. Uh, V15 is 100. 
equals t prime minus 15 times minus 4. If you do the math on this, you should get um, 25 plus 15, 40. That's 40 seconds. Okay, any questions on this? Okay, so we still have some time. Let me just uh, finish the second part of the problem, which I uh, maybe solve. We can actually solve for the ST plot. Okay, so this asks for the ST and the AT plot. Let's draw the ST plot. Okay, so how can we find the ST plot from the VT plot? First, first thing you do is ask yourself, how is the velocity related to the displacement? Uh, so V is ds dt. Okay, so ds is V dt. So we need to go from S1 to S2. Uh, the velocity goes, well, let me not put that. Let me make it an indefinite integral for now. Um, so S equals integral, uh, you given the expression for velocity, it's minus 4t plus 80t. Okay, so that comes out to be minus 4t squared. So I'm actually doing the integral because that's how I can find, draw the st plot times t plus a constant of integration. So my expression for S is S equals minus 2t squared plus 80t plus c. Uh, in order to find this constant c, uh, let's say you use the information that when s equals 0, the time t is 0. So put t equals 0, s equals 0. If you put that in the expression there, you get c equals 0. So s is minus 2t squared plus 80t. Okay, so what we have to now do is we got to plot this expression on the plot. Now, uh, if you have a graphing calculator, it'll actually do this for you. But if you don't have a graphing calculator, what you need to do is, I would choose multiple points. So for example, I put t equals 0. When I put t equals 0, I get s equals 0. So this is a point. Then I'll put t equals 1. So if I put t equals 1, I would get 80 minus uh, 2, which is 76. You put it here 76. Then I'll put t equals 2. So I'll be uh, 80 times 2 minus 152, and so on. So then I can actually draw a curve, right? You have to draw multiple points and draw the curve. Um, some of the problems in the homework are actually like this, where you 